Hello guys, this is Dr. Dheeraj Mahasapu. I'm a senior consultant. And uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you, you know, who should become an engineer or who should become a doctor after your 12th. Okay, the method, uh, I actually, you know, many of my relatives and you know, cousins ask me whether to get their children into medicine or not. So, so you shouldn't tell subjective, okay? So any decision in your life when you're taking, it should be very, very, very objective. Okay, if you want to go to Middle East, Abu Dubai, Abu Dhabi, after your career, even that decision should be taken very objectively. The method which I use in my life is called as, you know, average weighted sum technique. So here what we do is we actually make a table and we give, you know, different percentages weighing each decision and then a number will come. This number will actually tell you whether to do that thing or not. So in this video, I'm going to tell that. And actually, if, the, if you fill the scoring system, actually you'll come to know what are, uh, whether you should become a doctor or you should become an engineer that is one thing and the second thing is i am telling the, the amount of money a uh, engineer can earn and a doctor can earn after 35 years and for the comparison sake what i did is i took uh, the high I, equal iq people okay i took uh, for the comparison sake i took um, uh, engineer who has done his uh, iit and iam and a doctor who has done his MD and DM in cardiology. So both are almost like above 130 IQ. That's considered like a very high IQ. So I'm, I am in this video, I'm comparing uh, both of them and seeing how much are they going to earn in 35 years. So first engineer A, okay. So engineer first, let us calculate how much he had spent for his education. Okay, roughly he would have spent around 30 lakhs considering IIT fees and IIM uh, fees, approximately around 30 lakhs he would have spent from the BTEC, if you see. And then uh, <coughs> what happens is, initial salary of an engineer who has uh, done IIT and IIM would be anywhere between, you know, starting salary, we'll, we'll consider a little lesser, you know, for uh, comparison sake, right? Around 25 to 30 lakhs per annum is the initial package, let us assume like that. So an annual increment of 10% would come, right? And uh, then what happens is, over a period of seven, so I divided their career into two sections. One is from year 7 to 25. Why year 7 is 7 years it will take for them to finish their education. So year 7 to 25, they would get anywhere between 10% per year. After that, what happens is, I uh, you know made a scenario where he's making his own startup company and he's focusing more on the startup. So his uh, you know, increment is slightly lesser, 5% per year. So considering uh, these two sections, between 7 to 25 years, an engineer would you know, earn for around 19 years. So in this 19 year period, his uh, 2.5 to 3 lakh uh, rupee salary with a 10% uh, in annual increment and uh, would become anywhere between 12 crores in the 7 to 25 years. Okay, that is 1,278 lakhs, that is 12 crores. And then from 26 to 35, I told, right, he would start, uh, focus mainly on the startup company that is going to start. So in the startup company, when you focus, you focus on the job with degrees, right? So his annual increment has come down. So in that tenure, even in that tenure, he would earn anywhere between 18 crores. So the startup investment, uh, if you take an average of 2 crores, if it is invested, an annual growth rate that you get usually in the startup is 25%. So for 10 years, he was running his startup and then there he made another, uh, okay, uh, six, 16 crores. So total earnings would be around uh, 47 crores. So from this, you have to remove the cost of education and the startup investment of 2 crores and total it would come to around 45 crores. This is the total uh, money that an IIT IIM a bright guy who is working in the good place can earn. See, let we are not uh, factoring in the expenditure part. This is the pure amount if he starts accumulating, if he starts earning and saving, this would be the amount that he would earn. Uh, and now let us start how one doctor would earn. In a doctor actually what happens is uh, MBBS 5.5 years, MD 3 years and DM 3 years, total 11.5 years. So age at starting a work would be approximately 29.5 years which is significantly more than the engineers. So here the education wise, since he's a bright guy, his education would be a lot cheaper. 5 lakhs for MBBS, 5 lakhs for MD. I took little lesser numbers because all government seats in government colleges is what I considered. And DM 10 lakhs, total 20 lakhs. And then the starting salary anywhere for a DM cardiology would be around 30 lakhs per annum. 
let us consider and that is that is what they're getting also so an annual increment of seven percent is what doctors get they won't get like engineers and uh, years 12 to 25 so engineer starts at year 7 we start at year 12 so 12 to 25 is one section i did and 26 to 35 is another section so 12 to 25 he gets around a 7% increment per year and 26 to 35 he gets an increment of around 5% per year. So if I calculate uh, how much he would earn in the first 14 years it would be around uh, 7.5 crores and then after 26 to 35 years he would earn around 9.9 .9 crores. This is not the game. OPD practice also he would start right. So what he did is initially worked in a hospital but in the last second half of his career he started his OPD practice and it became hit and daily 40 patients were coming and the consultation of 1500 rupees is what he is charging. So 60,000 rupees per day is what he is getting. So there are 22 working days in a month and then monthly OPD income is around 13 lakh 20 thousand and then annual OP, annual income is around 1.5 crore from the OPD and even for that we have to consider 5% growth rate so the total OPD income should be around 19 crores so this we have to earn add to the uh, salary that he is getting so anywhere between 37 uh, if you remove the you know uh, education charges then if you remove 20 lakhs from the 37 crores it will be 37 point roughly around 37 crores is the amount that a doctor who has done his MDDM cardiology can earn at the end of his career so if you compare uh, engineer and doctor education wise duration of engineer is a little lesser doctor's education is 11 point where significantly more age at starting of work is around 24 for iit iim here 30 years for doctor for mddm education cost is more for engineer uh, for a merit student of doctor it is a little lesser starting salary is slightly almost the same and then but the overall uh, income wise uh, engineer who has done his startup and then who has done a decent job would earn around 45 crores and a doctor would earn around 37 to 40 crores it's almost nearly same so analysis would be uh, the advantage that engineers get is the early entry into workforce and uh, higher salary growth engineer usually gets because of you know technology and the a lot of ai coming up would favor the uh, and start up the possibility of starting the startups and everything will favor uh, more higher increments for engineers. So that is about the comparison. So then uh, if you are a 12th standard student or if you are a doctor and then you have to advise to somebody. So there are certain scoring systems which I developed. The number one important uh, scoring system is called as average weighted sum technique. So in this technique there are a few parameters that you have to consider. The, so here what you have to do is, I will show the scoring system now and in that scoring system 1 is like not important for you, 10 is like very important for you. Remember that. 1 is not important, 10 is very important. Let us see what will happen now. So this is the 5 uh, step scoring system and the first is early settlement. If early settlement is very important for you, you have to put 9. Okay. If early settlement is not a big deal, then you can put 1. Mindset. In mindset, prestige seeking mindset. Prestige seeking is more about you requiring external validation and also you want to be uh, famous among your peers and family and society. If you are more focused on that, give 9, otherwise keep 1. Financial support. Financial support is very important, particularly for uh, medical field. If financial, if you have adequate financial support, give 9. If you don't have a financial support, keep 1. Or in between though, you can put any number. And early retirement uh, is another thing. If your target is early retirement and then you have to give uh, 9. If your target is not that, then you can give 1. Service mindset. Service mindset is, you know, helping people. If you have that helping nature, then you have to give more. Otherwise, go for less. Let us calculate for one person and show. Then you will then you'll understand better. So this is some student, H. So his early settlement score is 4, that means he is not very much bothered about early settlement. He is prestige seeking, so he wants you know fame among uh, this one, maybe that is the reason he has put 8. Financial support is 7, maybe he is like upper middle class or middle class family. Early retirement 5, it's early, I mean early retirement not a big deal for him I think. Service mindset 9, he is very service mind, service oriented person. So here 4 into 0 0.2, 8 into 0.15, 7 into 0.25, it is not straight addition. So average weighted score is like, so we will again give importance to each metric. So we have given more importance to financial support. So that will carry more weightage. So 6.55 is, is a total score. So more than 5 would suggest medicine. So this candidate is best suiting the medical field. 
So like that, uh, you can put, for example, if you put your uh, own score or if somebody is requesting you to tell them what actually they want to become, they have to, they have to put their scores there. And then, for example, somebody gets two or three, then it is favoring engineering. So basically, based on this technique, you have to take a call. Not only this, anything in your life, you have to go with this technique. So that is how I think you have to take your decisions. My conclusion is that, so both uh, career will give a premium lifestyle if you are an intelligent and high IQ person. That is the uh, basic uh, agenda with behind this video. But in between, if you want uh, you know, uh, to understand where you belong to and if you don't have clarity, then you can use the scoring system and then uh, you can take a call. Okay, so that's about the video guys and hope you guys uh, like the video and uh, there are so many so many videos coming up and there is a member section also a lot of if you are a doctor and want to actually get benefited by getting into different countries and then different uh, Middle East, Australia and other countries how to go and all those videos are there pathways are there in the member section join the channel and then you'll get benefit of all those videos thank you very much